Hi, good news for you. You don't have to pay for a ChatGPT subscription anymore. Yes, they're giving it for free. There's a lot to unpack here, so stay with me. I promise you won't be disappointed. So OpenAI gave a live demo of their video voice feature in ChatGPT. Honestly, it was quite impressive, but it also cleared a lot of air around AI and innovation in general. You must have already seen a lot of hype around GPT-40 by now. The internet is flooded with Twitter threads, Insta reels and LinkedIn posts singing praises for this latest OpenAI model. Well, it's true. It talks to you in real time, almost like a human. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. And the new ChatGPT voice is kind of hot and flirty too. Ah, uh, there we go. It looks like you're feeling pretty happy and cheerful. OpenAI has always shied away from giving you an AI girlfriend. But now they had to give you something, if not AGI. So there you go. You now have a functional, emotionally available AI companion. And that too without paying any money. Don't throw hate my way, saying I'm only focusing on the companion part of the voice assistant. I'm just giving you the message of the AI grandmaster himself. FYI, the real-time voice and vision feature can have multiple applications. Like they've already shown. You can do live translation, use it as your study buddy, prepare for your interview, take meetings with AI, or simply get hooked to this Samantha equivalent. Do whatever you want, but don't believe that there will be some super intelligent being or AGI that will come your way through this. This is just a smart business move by a smart founder who needs to raise more money, riding on this hype. I'm sorry if I've hurt your feelings, but this is the fact of the matter. AI systems like ChatGPT need an insane amount of computing infra to support these fancy tasks. And it's a well-established fact that there is no clear business model to support this. And he knows it. That's why you're seeing OpenAI move towards things like NSFW content and AI companions and making them free for all. It will give them more users and build a stronger hype. Also because it's much easier to burn than earn, as this legend explains. It's not about how much you earn, it's about what you're worth. And who's worth the most? Companies that lose money. This is why you're seeing a company that had set out to build AGI for the world, creating Siri 2.2 that Apple could probably buy. Heck, they've also launched a Mac app for ChatGPT to butter things up with Apple. They definitely need that Apple money. This is great tech with many possible commercial applications. It's Omnimodel that combines GPT-4's capabilities into a single model. Way better than their previously used separate models for each task or any traditional chatbots or assistants out there. But it's not even a glimpse of the AGI that Altman so vehemently promises. They've given the same model speed and accuracy boost and made it free. So the fanboys can defend it saying you're expecting too much from a free model. It's not even GPT-5. Yes, it's not. And you know why? Because Sam himself built so much hype that it would have tanked the company if they had named it GPT-5. These fanboys always forget that this kind of tech can't be really monetized from the consumer side. The ChatGPT Plus users anyway won't make up a significant chunk of OpenAI's total revenue going forward. These technologies can only be monetized on the enterprise level or function as an ad-based model like Google Search. By the way, that too isn't getting disrupted anytime soon no matter how much you diss Google. Anyways, all this just goes on to show that OpenAI has probably peaked and all that AGI talk feels like bullshit. Let's see what Google has in store for us. Don't write them off just yet. Listening to OpenAI fanboys, I most certainly wouldn't. Share this video with your friends who criticize Google for data collection but will willingly participate in this massive data collection effort from OpenAI. Don't forget to tell me why I'm wrong. And most definitely don't let me come in the way of you and your AGI bullshitter influencers. I understand. That hit feels different, even if it's unreal. Have fun. See you in the next video.